it's really been fabulous because it's given me a lot more practice of talking about what I do, like what, you know, we were, we were always encouraged to get our elevator pitch together and, you know, through the, through the fellowship, uh, the ability to gather all that evidence from students and work with students um, to, to keep reshaping uh, the unit that we were teaching them. Um, um, but, you know, the ability to keep centering student voices and to make that part of an open practice. I think that's helped me articulate the value of that a lot. It just uh, gave me hope in a really difficult time. Um, my role was made redundant and I was really unsure how I could keep making a contribution in this space and how I could keep the attention on this sort of social justice opportunities that open education has beyond, you know, the kind of access for everyone argument. So yeah, this piece came at a time that just gave me um, a bit of hope and a little bit of um, meaning and focus uh, to get to the point where now I do feel that I have a nice balance between um, research collaboration work and um, doing some practical work for equity and inclusion. And actually at the moment, RMIT is developing an open scholarship policy and I've been on the steering committee for that. So, you know, that wouldn't have happened without the research. The fact that uh, I'm holding a regional office uh, and uh, uh, this is the hub for Africa uh, that currently has five, five countries in it. And of course the global program is run in 27 countries. And that means that uh, my profile has gone up, not just because of the fellowship, but because of the network in general. And because uh, when people hear about this university in the UK, the Hewlett Flora Foundation funding this fellowship, they're like, okay, this is the person because all this reads in my CV. So as a person, this has really given me a notch higher, has raised my profile. But what everybody said who was involved uh, in, the, uh, pro in, in the creation of the picture book said that was an oasis of, of happiness, if you like, and, and cool creation that they welcomed during these uh, difficult times. Um, so through this inquiry, because it was an inquiry to create um, a, the collaborative picture book, I, I feel that I learned a lot and it created a new, uh, new areas for exploration. Uh, but I think there will be uh, an excellent impact in the mid to long term future. Um, and, and it's quite an honor uh, you know, to have received the fellowship from GoGen because I know the selection process is very tough. So I think as soon as I start disseminating um, my research, I think um, there will be an excellent impact. But this was going into community organizations as an open education professional, an open education researcher. And, you know, to be able to go in under the auspices of, you know, GoGen fellow, um, funded by the Open University and Hewlett, you know, just brought a bit of um, understanding about, you know, what I was bringing with me. You know, I, I was able to go in in the very first meetings with these organizations and say, yes, I'm Catherine Cronin and I'm an open education professional and I'd like to help you. But, you know, as a GoGN fellow, um, I'm going to share the work that we're doing together with this global network um, of open education researchers. Um, they may have ideas and they may know of other work similar to what you're doing here. Um, and I'll bring that back to you and that'll help us solve, you know, the problems that we're addressing. Um, uh, and also, uh, you know, people will very, un you know, people will find out about the good work that you're doing. So that could help you to develop relationships. The fellowship has helped tremendously in that it's given me um, a connection to a global organization where uh, it's, it's a reputable organization in the open education world, perhaps I would argue maybe one of the most um, in terms of research in open education. Um, so that looks fantastic um, as part of my CV that gets uh, reviewed regularly. And um, the research itself should result in a publication, which would will also be fantastic. Um, I've had some opportunities for service through sharing the ideas and um, sharing them the research at uh, a couple conferences and it will impact my teaching so it, it's impacted my research my service and my teaching so in terms of um, 
my own development in this role, it's been a huge uh, benefit. I actually used all of the open educational resources in my current job um, and we used it as a pilot to figure out how do we um, collect um, different types of, of digital artifacts. So we had the blogs, we had the podcasts, we had different types of, uh, of, as I say, digital files, and then we collected them and we put them into this new um, library project that we're working on to create repository at our university. So that really benefited me and my job because I was able to um, discuss that. Well, um, I would like to take advantage of this interview to share how good uh, this experience has been for me for many reasons. Uh, first of all, I hope that, that the study developed under the Gaussian Research Fellowship make make a contribution to understanding of the phenomenon as well as to making recommendations that can guide policy and practice in open education in Uruguay. And I think I think it was very important for me to also to, to see the application of uh, the conceptual model I developed in my PhD thesis and applied in another educational context and in an emergency situation. Um, so I think this, this experience has allowed me to mature my capacity as researcher in open education. Uh, I was invited in, 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 in some uh, um, um, events in, in, in the, in the organized by the Administration of Public Education in Uruguay to, to talk about that. Uh, I believe that also the, the greatest work will be in the possibilities to spread these results among the, the stakeholders. Um, disseminating the findings was one of the, the first action of the UNESCO chair. I told about that, and I shared among teachers, education authorities, and other stakeholders. 